welcome all of you again in the classes of this uh, avs academy and the next unit we are starting to this that is the third unit environmental biology in the previous classes we have completed the unit 1 fundamentals of environmental science and in the last class we have completed the environmental chemistry the next chapter that we have to start is this environmental biology if you look at the past previous year papers the average number of questions that you can find out from this particular chapter that is between 9 to 20 in some years you can find out 9 12 15 or maybe 20 questions in a single year paper i have seen from this particular unit so if you look at this unit a very important unit containing almost average of 15 questions each semester so when you are preparing for this particular unit this particular unit is mainly theoretical there are very few numerical questions two or three numerical questions that we have to discuss from the population ecology otherwise this particular unit is completely theoretical so you have to remember all the terms their meanings their examples or whatever are associated with them that's all you have to do easily you will get marks from this particular unit so let's start this unit so starting this unit we have to start with the very basic thing that is the ecology so what is the ecology so ecology is made up of the two words one is the eco another one is the logy and here eco is the environment itself logy is a study of that particular environment or that particular surrounding you can say so it is defined as a scientific study of the relationship of organisms with their particular respective environment so how they are interacting and what are what are the organisms what they are doing how they are interacting that all we study in the ecology subject of ecology if you look at the ecology term so this was very first time coined in the year of 1866 and the scientist who coined this term very first time was ernest heckel remember this name so they can ask you the name as well now if you look at the ecology again ecology is divided in two main branches one is called as auto ecology another one is called as syn ecology what is auto ecology auto ecology is involving the study of an individual animal or plant that is species with its environment so if you are studying the a uh, environment in the term of only one individual animal or one individual organism so that would be your auto ecology syn ecology the study of relation of the group of different species with their environment so if there are multiple species multiple individuals you can say multiple organisms you can say if you are studying the environment in the perspective of them a group of them so that would be called as syn ecology so you can see this so you can uh, just uh, remember this concept by studying the singular and plural concept syn ecology you can understand that this is a for plural number for multiple numbers and auto ecology for a single person for individual or singular number so this is what the branches of ecology are now the next very basic thing that you have to study in this ecology that is the levels of ecological organization so how a particular environment is created how it is formed so we all know it is formed with multiple organisms these organisms are individual organisms so the individual organisms come together and the same species of individual organisms will make a population now multiple population of the different organisms will come at a single place and they will create a community this is the third level then the multiple communities will come in a single area or the in the defined area and they will create a whole ecosystem so that is containing multiple community and multiple ecosystems will come together or come at a place and that whole area would be called as the landscape and multiple landscapes will come with similar weather conditions similar climatic conditions same type of species same type of species not single species same type of multiple species you can find out and they will create a single biome so biome is a very large area containing multiple landscapes but similar type of climatic or weather conditions you can find out in a single biome then this multiple biomes will come together and this will create the whole biosphere of the earth so that is how the different levels of the ecological organization you can find out in the environment a few very important definitions are also there that you have to 
uh, remember that is the definition of organism what is a organism so organism they make the very basic unit of study in the ecology you can see that individual organism is the a uh, very first unit of this particular all environmental organization or the biosphere organization you can say so this is the very basic unit of the ecology an organism is fully adapted to its environment whatever environment it is having it is fully adapted to that it has a defined definite life span so ultimately with particular time period or completing the life span it is going to die including definite series of stages like it will take birth then maybe hatching if it is taking birth in the form of egg then there will be growth then there will be maturity and again there would be senescence after senescence there would be aging and aging after there would be death so this is the life cycle you can say of all the organisms present in the biosphere including plants including animals including microorganisms all goes through these different stages of life span so this is what organism is now what is biosphere biosphere you can see the most top unit of the levels of organization so biosphere this is the entire inhabited part of the earth and its atmosphere including the living component that is called as biosphere so if you include all the things that is habitable that is making an environment habitable so that's why the organisms can inhabit that so that entire combination combination of the atmosphere and all the things living components that is called as a biosphere this is few basic terms uh, that we have to be clear before go further going to this particular unit the next term that uh, uh, we are going to discuss is habitat what is habitat so habitat is the physical environment or physical space you can say in which a particular organism is living habitat provides an organism everything it needs to survive like space food water cover or shelter all that things are provided in a habitat to that particular organism so suppose you are living in a particular city so that city can be termed as a habitat to you because everything the food space water or whatever you are requiring to live there you are getting from that particular city so city can be termed as your habitat so similarly for an animal or for an any organism so whatever area in which it is getting its food it is getting its shelter it is getting its water so that all area is habitat for that particular organism So, if you look at the Earth, Earth is having four types of habitats. One is called as terrestrial habitat. So, this is basically land, land habitat. Then, second here is the freshwater habitat. So suppose we are talking habitat for a fish. So, that fish is having freshwater habitat here. It is not coming to the land. So, land is not part of the habitat for that particular fish. So, that is another type of habitat. Then, we also have estuarine. Estuaries or estuarine is what estuarine or estuaries are that place where rivers are meeting to the ocean, and in these estuarine or estuaries, what happens? The salt water is meeting with the fresh water, and whatever deposits or the sediments the fresh water is taking with ah uh, with him or with that particular river flowing water, so that is going to be deposited just after meeting to the salt water. So because the solubility will decrease and the sediments will go down and ultimately settle down. So these estuaries are having both type of advantages. It is having the qualities of the fresh water as well. It is having the quality of the salt water as well. And estuaries are termed as a one of the most productive ecosystem in the environment. So you should know that the estuaries are having one of the most important type of or productive type of environment there then last is the oceanic type so again the oceanic organisms have the oceans only as their habitat they are again not coming to the land area so ocean can be termed as a habitat for the oceanic organisms so these all are the different four types of major habitats that you can find out on the earth now there is another term that is called as niche some people called as niche so it is up to you what you are calling it i am calling it as a niche and niche are different from habitat now what is habitat what is niche 
so the reference table you can see here so this one column is showing the habitat side and this one column is showing this is for habitat and this is for niche so here you can see what is habitat habitat a place as we have discussed and that is a part of ecosystem occupied by any particular organism so that is its habitat second thing the role of an organism within its environment or ecosystem what that particular organism is doing there so that can be called as niche if i give you another example habitat can be address of any organism like here you can see habitat of a species is like its address so habitat you can termed as a address of any particular organism while what is niche niche can be the profession of that organism suppose if i again give you example you are a student in any particular university so your address can be that university but what is your niche there or the end in that university where you are going to study or maybe you are studying right now so you are what you are a student of that particular university so habitat can be your whole university but as a niche what is your profession your profession is doing study there or you are a student there so that's what habitat and niche similarly a particular organism what is the address of that organism that can be this habitat in that place that organism is living taking water taking food taking shelter doing reproduction or whatever all the associated works they are doing there that can be their habitat that place can be and what is the niche so niche for that particular organism is how it is interacting with its biotic component a biotic component what is its diet how it is doing reproduction the all other activities the basic activities that that organism is doing that is the niche of that particular organism then another example another uh, difference you can see that the habitat is the physical place that is occupied by any particular organism while niche is what niche is the function or activity of that organism what it is doing there the habitat reflects the living place of an organism while the niche reflects the biotic association abiotic association terms of its diet reproduction and the other activities so that can be niche of that particular organism so in nature many species occupy the same habitat but they perform different functions suppose a lion is living in a particular habitat and suppose there is a, a buffalo or, or suppose there is a deer is also living on that same habitat it is possible but profession of both organism is totally different a lion is is a predator there while the a uh, particular deer or buffalo whatever you are taking that is not a predator that is a prey there it is just taking food of the vegetarian or maybe plants or any other thing so the profession or the niche of the both organisms are different here you can see but both are occupying the same space or same habitat so that is what the difference between habitat and niche the functional characteristics of a species its habitat are referred to as niche and in that common habitat so habitat is the whole area niche is the profession of that particular organism a niche is unique for all the different species while many species share the same habitat as i have given you example the lion and deer both are sharing the same habitat but the niche of both are totally different no two species in a habitat can have the same niche so lion and deer or you can take any other example monkey and lion elephant or deer snakes or peacock all the different examples they have they may have they may have the same kind of habitat or same habitat may be different as well but they cannot have the same niche at all definitely they will have a different niche in the same habitat so this one thing you should remember so this is what difference between habitat and niche